Welcome to Friday. This is Pastor Kurt. Hey, this is Aaron. Welcome to our Friday edition of Daily Office. Uh, we're going through Romans 8 here with Christ Church, Christ United Methodist in Lafayette. Um, we're going to begin in the 31st verse and go to the end. If, if I had this to do over, I, I would have, I, I should have done this over two or three weeks because, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot it was to cover. just too much. Um, anyway, Romans 8 says, what then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him for us all. How will he not also, along with Christ, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Christ Jesus who died? More than that, who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is interceding for us. So who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We're considered sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else, in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I tender whisper of love in the dead of night and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone you're a good good father it's who you are it's who you are it's who you are I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Oh, I've heard. So the goodness of God is shown to us in God's great creation, in God's great mercy, most clearly in the life and the teaching of Christ Jesus. And he shows us that there is nothing, nothing, nothing in all of creation that can separate us from the love of God. God came in Christ and said, do your worst, and we did. And he came back and said, okay, now that we're done with that, let's move on, okay? You know I love you. <laughs> I forgive you. So let's just get on with doing life, and let's get on with building for the kingdom, and let's get on with making the world better. This week we talked about we started with there's no condemnation and, and we talked about how we have the spirit of god that lets us approach god like a perfect father and then we talked about how the world is waiting for people to show up as children of god and and that god uses all that we go through to to be for our blessing and our good even when we don't see it even when we don't understand it at the end of it all there's nothing that can keep us from God. Nothing in all creation that can hinder our presence and God's presence with us. So as we, we go through this time of pandemic and we go through this time of upheaval, I remind you over and over again, you are loved by God. You are not alone loved you're not alone over and over again i will bring that to you to remind you you are children of god and when you show up as such the world is better but even when you don't you're still loved you're still not alone god is with you and god loves you there's nothing in all of creation that will change that thank you god 
that nothing in all of creation will separate us from your love. Amen. started um, your interpretation, we recapped through the week, especially mm-hmm. since everything fits together with inside Romans 8. Like you said, if we, if we had two weeks um, to get through this, <laughs> probably ought to. it would turn into another Psalms thing. So. <laughs> we are on our fifth week of Romans 8. Yes. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. <laughs> enjoying it. We're on the second word of the fourth verse. <laughs> now read along with me. The. If what Paul means by that is. <laughs> <laughs> we should so do that. Yeah. One day. No. One, word, one word devotionals. You heard it here first. Here we go. We're, uh, we're innovating and we're changing the game, guys. So. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell we're happy it's Friday? <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, man. Oh, man. Short week and we still need to just power through it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us this week, um, helping us get through Romans 8, even though we needed two weeks to do it. We did it in four days, so or three, five days. But um, yeah, I don't know how many we'd had. <laughs> so we're, we're uh, really glad you could join us today. Mm-hmm. We hope that you all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. But have a great weekend, and God bless. Mm-hmm.